Hey there blog stalkers, Arlen here. Today is July 27th, 2012, and I'm going to be giving my review of the Blu-ray Anniversary Edition of everyone's favorite love story, Deliverance. And we're going to play a random arcade game on the MAME Center, and we're going to try and provide answers to some questions on Yahoo Answers. Today, on A with a K. Hey gang! Uh, I don't know how to start a segue to Deliverance, so let's just hop into the review. Uh, purchased the Blu-ray on Amazon. Uh, I believe it was $29.99. The special edition anniversary pack uh, comes with a cardboard jacket, as do most anniversary or collector's editions or even first release Blu-rays. Uh, included with it is a kind of like what you find with a CD book where it has audio information about an artist. There's a lot of information about dueling banjos with the movie, which if you've seen the movie it makes sense, but it's still it's kind of weird. Uh, they focus so much on the music over the movie itself. Uh, it's an old classic I honestly had never seen before. Um, everybody kind of knows the stigma around the movie. Uh, a couple of guys go camping and and really bond together, uh, a real love story. You know, bring your wife and, and girlfriend, whatever you have, to a movie like that. Um, yeah, uh, nothing, nothing really special. You, you watch the movie and there are a couple scenes where you can see that the film had been remastered for Blu-ray digital quality, uh, only because, like, there's a scene, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, uh, where they're climbing up the mountain, the, the rock side, because they're being shot at. And as he's climbing, he has to go to sleep in the middle of the night on the rocks because the, the climb is just so long. And at, there's a point where the film, the background kind of drops out. And so the digital enhancement brings the character forward, but you can see in the background like they were either actually filming at night and the backdrop is just completely blown out or whatever studio film effect they were going for for nighttime just completely is gone from the film. Uh, aside from that, the, the film is very watchable. It's higher than DVD quality, of course. Uh, you don't see a grainy effect like you see on some movies that are rebooted from you know VHS original film, DVD, to a Blu-ray. It's not just a blow-up. They, they've, they've done quite a bit of pixel polishing and, and it looks nice. Sound quality is, is very decent uh, and you're not going to watch a movie like Deliverance expecting Michael Bay surround sound or THX quality anything. Uh, it's very watchable though. Um, aside from it being the movie that it is, there, of course, are no real added scenes or anything like that. Uh, I give the movie probably a 7 out of 10. It's just for the, the quality of performance of the characters, everything like that. It seems stupid to be reviewing a movie that's that old. Uh, but again, it's new to me, so I don't care. Um, what else? The, the movie, the booklet that it comes with, <coughs> has very... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> the movie comes with a booklet that, aside from the weird banjo information, they explain rather bluntly how they hired the hillbillies in the movie. And I think that's worth a read if you are out and you can buy the Blu-ray. I say go for it. Just the book, to me, was more entertaining than the movie itself. Uh, mainly just in how things are phrased. For example, they they state that when they needed a a special needs boy to be a banjo hillbilly, they went to a local local school and they hired a 15 year old who quote unquote looked perfect for the role. And to me, that's the most insulting thing you could say to a kid. It's like, oh hey, you look like a backwoods retard. I hope you can play the banjo. Which, by the way, the actor couldn't. They, they faked that. But it was a very convincing performance. It, anybody who's seen the movie, that's one of the most defining parts of the movie, aside from man rape. So, 
uh, just finding out little little quips and things like that, it really it kind of puts the movie into a different perspective when you're watching it. And so, I would say buy the Blu-ray, rent it even if you're able to get access to the book with your rental, which I don't know where you would get that from. Maybe you're just renting it from a friend in exchange for personal favors, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, definitely read the book before you watch the movie. It's a quick read, and yeah, it, you're not going to be disappointed, I don't think, unless you were really disappointed by the movie to begin with. And don't, because you won't like it the second time. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get on to some, some question and answer time on Yahoo Answers. 